I was browsing Twitter the other day and I saw a great piece of tech from Hue, creator of the VTuber Studio Sammy plugin. They had created a web page that allowed for speech to text to speech using the WebKit voice recognition and Amazon Poly speech synthesis. And it sounds a little something like this. Hello, can you hear me? This is something that I've always wanted to do. In fact, way back, I've had something similar that would translate my words into a different language. I ended up messing around with the code a bit, and I even made a Sammy extension that lets you do various actions automatically. Let's get started with the basics. How to use this without the Sammy extension. The hardest part is getting the Amazon Poly credentials. Big disclaimer, Amazon Poly is free up to the first 5 million characters per month, or for the first 12 months. However, if you go over this limit or you stay with Poly for longer, you'll probably be charged. Neither Hugh nor myself are responsible for any credit card charges. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and set up the Poly account. Hugh has written out these instructions that will show you how to create a Amazon Cognito identity pool so you can actually do this stuff. I'm not going to go over creating an AWS account because it requires a lot of personal information and I don't want to dox myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign in. I already have an AWS account. You need to go into this Amazon Web Services console and you click on create new identity pool. We'll call it QSTTTS demo. Put the name and then you click on this button, enable for unauthenticated identities, and then you choose create pool. Now you see the two names of the two rules make use of the one for un unauthenticated identities. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this one, Cognito Hue SDTS demo role. I'm gonna go ahead and write it down. So we hit allow in the bottom right and we're good. Now it says go to JavaScript. So now we have the region and we have the identity pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and write these down as well. Now that we have the role set up and we have the identity pool and all that other stuff, now we have to tell Polly that it's able to use that. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this guy. And what we are going to do is we are going to go to policies. And then if we search for poly, poly full access. So we'll click on poly full access. We'll go into policy usage and then we will say attach. And then we will add our hue STTS demo on auth role. And we'll say attach policy. And then you'll see it shows up here. You'll be able to use the region and the identity pool that you got from this sample code in the web browser and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and give it a test. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new Chrome on incognito window, and I'm going to paste in the URL. I'll say allow. So it'll say that the speech recognition has started. We're gonna go ahead and copy the region, put it up there. Copy the identity pool, put it up there. Click connect. Then you'll see the status icon changes and says it has retrieved voice from the server. So we're gonna go ahead and say, Nicole, uh, we're gonna have to refresh so it gets this hopefully. And then I'm just gonna put it out to game. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And that is it for setting that up. Now that the app is working normally, let's get it hooked up to Sammy. First thing you'll need to do is to get the extension. First go to github.com slash hue virtual creature slash hue sttts system. Then you can go into the Sammy extension folder and see the SEF file. If you click on raw, then right click and go to save as you can save it as a dot sef file make sure you remove the dot txt at the end this same extension requires node to operate so make sure you go to nodejs.org en and install it i'd recommend the lts version if you don't have it but really any somewhat recent version should work. Next, we'll install the extension into Sammy. You'll click on bridge, then install extension, then select the SEF file you downloaded. You should see a new deck and everything went well. Inside this deck, there is a big red button. Go ahead and smash that red button. Speaking of smashing buttons, why not subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> It'll take about 30 seconds to run, so go ahead and make a cup of tea. Now close and reopen Sammy and OBS. If it works, you should see a little yellow bit of text saying that it's running. Now inside of Sammy, you have a couple extension commands. Hue STTS start will start the voice recognition, just as Hue STTS stop will stop it. Hue STTS random voice will select a random voice in the dropdown. One last thing we need to do to make this all come together is to enable WebSockets inside of the app. Go to the section labeled local WebSockets and type in localhost colon 61112 in the URL and click turn WebSockets on. This will let the app listen to the commands from the same extension. The app needs to start after the same extension does, so I just make sure to refresh the page after Sammy gets going. And that's it for setup. So now I wanna go over a little bit of troubleshooting. First, make sure the basics are in place. You have node installed 
installed, you've turned the web sockets on, and the app has the AWS, Amazon credentials, et cetera, et cetera. After that, if it still isn't working, check out the Hue STTTS SAMI extension folder inside of your SAMI folder. If you have a folder called Hue STTTS system main, go in there, then go into the SAMI extension folder and make sure there is a node modules folder. If there isn't, navigate to there from the command line and run npm i, then restart everything. That will fix the issue and you'll be off to the races. That's pretty much it for the tutorial as of now. Please let me know if you're interested in any other features. I thought about maybe adding other speech providers and maybe somehow translating the text, but I'm not super sure if people would want that. I'll see you guys later. Bye.